Oh, it's just the same. It's Previously on Stewie's right. Corner. All right, I'm going to go through each and every one of these games because they're not actual, um, you know, dodgy rip-offs like I've been reviewing recently. These are actually all original games. Despite repeated warnings from friends and family, Stewie attempted to review over 40 games and a console from the dreaded company at Games. Meanwhile, on Namek. Yeah, no worries, here's a game club, you ought to do it, Freezer. Master Freezer, I cannot get this machine to work. All the while, Stewie continued to advise other potential space emperors about the dangers of poorly made games. With the score in favor of the dark side, is there any hope remaining for this latest Sega system? Find out today! We continue on in this shitty games marathon with Logic Dial. A grid with 16 numbers appears, some of which are out of order. By rotating four of them at a time, you can get the grid in ascending order. Sounds fun, right? Nah, I didn't think so. Table Magic inexplicably lacks both tables and magic. It's just that game street con artists play when you keep your eyes on the prize and select the chest with treasure. Not a lot of quality testing here, as even one of the jewels still hasn't been cut out from the sketch pad before being glued into this game. This could be the best version of Mahjong ever created by mortal man. It could also be the worst. I don't know, as I don't know how to play Mahjong. For some reason, this game kept on appearing on pirated NES cards that would come into my possession as a child. Perhaps there exists some old Chinese law stating that dodgy cards must feature Mahjong to some extent. Match 11. Several numbers are on screen. Add them up in groups of 11. Repeat. Or, you know, don't. Mega Brain Switch. Guess what? It's the same as Brain Switch in the previous video, except now there are boxes for odd numbers and consonant letters. Still as much fun as the first one. After pushing the non-existent fire button, you are treated to a game of memory using the same graphics from Mahjong. Awful music once again plays, and you can surrender at any time by pressing C. Not too sure why you can flip over five cards at a time, though. Ah, good, another memory game. Can you tell if the previous tile matches the current one? The game goes for 90 seconds as opposed to the standard minutes though, so you get an extra 30 seconds of play time. How generous. Mirror mirror on the wall, why can't I rhyme? A grid appears on the right and you must find several letters on the left, mirror flipped grid. I'm getting a bit sick of these micro games trying to pass themselves off as proper ones. We finally come to Mr. Balls. Mr. Balls and his friends have been imprisoned, possibly by Detective Scroats from Family Guy, and you must free them. Selecting a ball will make him and the ones around him disappear, but the ones around him that have already gone will return. It's not that bad of a puzzle, at least compared to everything else so far. As you've probably guessed, naval power is just battleship. This version seems to feature a cheating bastard of a computer though, as it almost always hits one of your ships. Having said that, it is still far better than the movie version. In Panic Lift, you play as an elevator attendant with the fattest thighs and most spindly shins possible. Several badly drawn people get on and shout their floor at you and will get quite stroppy if you miss their floor. Also, this is not how elevators work in real life. Reaction Match. It's just memory match but with truck graphics. This game can fuck off. And now I present to you the world's slowest version of Snake.
If you're expecting a low-rent version of Metroid in Space Hunter, you are going to be very disappointed. A UFO and a number appear on screen for a second, three times. Click the UFOs, then arrange the numbers that also appeared to form a coherent equation. Not worth the time of day or night. I'll read from the actual instructions for Spider here, including the spelling mistakes. You must protect your anniversary cake from the arachnid invasion. For that you have an insecticid, which will help you drop off the spiders, keeping them away from the cake. For each dropped spider, new ones could came up. Also, you need to go out of your way to get a game over. That last bit wasn't actually part of the instructions, that was me. It's not a crossword, it's not find a word, it's not join the dots, and it's not a small mahogany vestibule lined with fine china teapots imported from Norway. It's Sudoku. Need I say more? You're a pirate, again, and must navigate waters to reach treasure. Not to be picky, but in this game your rowboat, which would be several kilograms of hard wood, will sink if you so much as run over a crab. Several UFOs will appear on screen faster than a greased up Speedy Gonzales on speed. Count them and tell the Mega Drive how many you sighted. Games like this make me wonder just what sort of programmers actually thought this was a good idea. Warehouse Keeper. It's that game where you slide blocks where they need to be slid. For reasons unknown, the game arena is about one eighth of the size of your TV screen. It comes with the usual dodging music as standard. We finally come to the last game, Whack a Wolf. Hit the wolf and not the girl in the red hood. For a kid's game, this actually gets really fast, really quickly. Well, that's your lot. Yep, that's all 40 games now spread across multiple reviews. Not one of them I would actually recommend. I mean, some of them passed, some of them were meh, but there were far superior versions on many more platforms, so it's definitely not worth purchasing a console for that cartridge, and it's not worth purchasing the console for the console itself. We established that ages ago. So, waste of money, unless you're creating YouTube videos like this, in which case you can use it as a review and warn other people not to buy it. But, you know, who's going to listen to me anyway? The good news is, I can finally get rid of this now. I no longer have to review anything to do with at games. In fact, I'm going to make sure I don't review that ever again and pass it off to some of my own top men.